Good day, welcome to our celebration for Friday, July the 10th. Our gathering chant, sing a new song. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing all song be sung from mountains high sing a new song unto the lord singing alleluia singing alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the peace of the holy spirit be with you all my friends we gather in prayer and praise at our homes and those within our church to celebrate our love for Christ the Lord, we call to mind the great goodness of God to each one of us, that a God who loves us so much that he forgives us our sins unconditionally, so we humble our hearts before God and seek his mercy. Lord Jesus, we celebrate our love for you by listening to the words of Scripture and being nourished with the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us forth to be people of faithful living. May the words we speak and the kind deeds we extend be a generous sign of our love for you. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, as you are obedient to the Father, help us to always seek to live your way, that our lives may allow others to see the portrait of your face throughout our world. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy in all of us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the basin of your only Son, you have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow always eternal gladness. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We listen attentively to God's holy word. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all guilt, accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Azariah shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned them from them. I will be like the dew on Israel, he shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the forests of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the wine. Their fragrance shall be the wine of Lebanon. O oh, Ephraim, what do I do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. 
My mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. My mouth will declare your praise. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me a willing spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be cunning as serpents, and yet as cunning as the doves. Beware of those who, lend, who hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what to say. For what you are to say will be given to you when the time comes. Because it's not you who will be speaking, the spirit of your father will be speaking for you. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child. Children rise up against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all people on account of my name, but the man and one who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. If they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, the sacred scriptures throughout these weekdays and for the past days of this week have focused on the great prophet Hosea. Hosea is a man that truly was very faithful to his God. But sadly, his wife was very unfaithful to him. So the prophet Hosea, indeed, he compared the sins of Israel to those who worshipped false gods to his wife, who was unfaithful to him. But indeed, the prophet Hosea was very patient and very forgiving, and he constantly allowed his marriage to be healed restored to new blessing and strength. So the prophet was persistent in seeking that his marriage would once again bear abundant fruit. If you want to understand the image or the great insight of this great prophet Hosea, we hear the words of the psalm of Psalm 51 of today's liturgy. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out all my offenses. For as we hear the beautiful psalm today of the sacred scriptures, Psalm 51 echoes the exact call that God extends to us. Create a pure heart within me, O God. Give me again the joy of your help. And because of your gift to the Spirit, we are renewed by the face of your love. So my friends, today as we celebrate Eucharist, may our renewed faith be an opportunity for you and I to renew our commitment to be faithful to our God, to proclaim Jesus Christ even in times of hostility. For throughout the 2,000 years history of our church, 
The gospel has always been a true message that when you and I seek to bring God's word to our community, some will accept, and in today's world, many will reject. But because of our efforts to believe in God, may we be persistent in faith so that we will indeed allow God's word to be proclaimed. The church this day, in the words of Bishop Barron, as the scriptures are proclaimed, the great preacher in the United States, Bishop Barron says, this is the day that we should pray essentially and prayerfully for an increase of vocations to the priest and religious life because the church need to raise up good people that will proclaim the word of God and lead the faithful going together on evangelization to witness and to serve. May we truly be faithful to the ideals of what God asks and seek to be faithful to the name Christian we bear. Amen. My dear friends, we approach our God as a people of trust and belief, and indeed to the words of Psalm 51, we always pray, have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. The response to the prayer is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. May we come to know Jesus, enter into a relationship with him, and never be satisfied with just knowing things about him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all Christian communities. May we trust and support our pastors, dialogue with them, and share their burdens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of us. May Christ's care for us inspire us to nourish one another with words of encouragement, with hope, and with deeds of support, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, suffering, and struggling in mind, body, and spirit. May they experience the healing, mercy, and comfort of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, today we pray especially for Gordon Brennan, Owen T. Glasgow, the Pelletier family, and Anita Pittman. And we pray for those who have no one to pray for them. May Christ welcome them all into his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take them all, my friends, and offer our own personal intentions. Gracious God, we approach you with hearts that are truly sincere, seeking always to be faithful to the name Christian we bear. Bless each one of us and bless our church that we will always witness to the name Christ throughout our world. In his name we give praise. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have wine to offer, through the divine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spirits will drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and forgive me all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day, bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, 
so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. It is always right that your creatures serve you, that the redeemed praise you, and all saints in one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of all sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, a chalice of salvation, giving thanks to God that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and with all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My friends, we seek always to be faithful to our God, who indeed cleanses us, cleanses us of all our sins and allows us to be renewed in his way. And so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. My friends, we extend virtue to each other, a sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of this world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. My friends, taking you, thank you for taking the time once again to pray with us on this Friday, Friday morning. We gather in praise of God. Of course, we are asking that those who wish to pray with us at Mass this weekend that you register uh, yesterday it took place, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday rather, and so we will still have some place available if you wish to call uh, 699-5701. This will be the phone number that you're asked to call next week as well for the time that we will have to register for masses, 699-5701. So again, thank you for kindly. Mass will still be videoed for, uh, for the internet web page uh, for Saturday evening. And so if you cannot attend church because of issues or difficulties and because of other complications of any kind, Please pray with us at evening Mass. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and bless our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go and announce the good news. Thanks be to God, our recessional chant. Faith of our fathers living still In spite of dungeon fire and sword Oh, how our heart beat high with joy Whene'er we hear that glorious word Faith of our fathers, holy faith We will be true to you till death Faith of Till death.